Today we will discuss simple yet very powerful natural approaches to upset stomach. There are many reasons why you may get upset stomach. In this video we will not go over all the possible causes since that is very large topic and not suitable for today's theme. Instead we will review several natural approaches to help you deal with the upset stomach fairly quickly. We will cover both herbal and nutritional approaches since one without another is literally useless. In the first half of the video you learn how to correctly select and use some of the most powerful herbs in western herbal medicine and common culinary seasonings for the digestive system. In the second part of the video you learn how to increase the effectiveness of the herbs covered in this video by combining several of them together to get even better synergistic effect. Lastly, we will discuss the major nutrition do's and don'ts that can make or break the success of these treatment strategies. So let's define what we mean by upset stomach. By upset stomach in this particular video we mean the feeling of bloating and gassiness, some cramping and possibly feeling nauseous. It does not include things like sharp or burning pain in your stomach, vomiting or diarrhea. These are separate entities and require a little more differentiation to make sure that they are not part of more serious medical condition. While pretty much all of the remedies that we will discuss today are straightforward and you should be able to get them in most grocery stores around your house if you live in Europe or United States, it might be harder to find some of them if you are in other parts of the world. Therefore we suggest to plan ahead and keep them in your house in general so that it's easy to pack them with you when you are getting ready for your trip. As we will discuss later, some of them can be used in cooking or for preparing great tasting after meal tea. After all, having upset stomach is very common whether you are traveling or staying at home. So let's start with the most simple remedy that most of you may already even have in your home. Some of you may know fennel seeds as seasoning used for preparation of numerous culinary dishes. But did you know that these sweet licorice like tasting seeds are one of the best things for relieving gassiness and bloating? They are so effective and safe to use that they can be even used for babies to relieve their colics. The best way to use them is to prepare a tea by either steeping or soaking 1 to 2 teaspoons of preferably crushed seeds in a cup of boiling water or generally simmering the whole seeds on a low boil for 2-3 to three minutes. This may not be the option however if you are traveling and are out and about. In this case, take few seeds at a time and start chewing on them until you completely break them down. Swallow the saliva mixed with the flavor of the seeds. You can slowly chew up to half a teaspoon at a time. If you are fancier, you can buy and bring with you a tincture from fennel seeds and take the recommended dose in a cup of warm tea, such as chamomile tea if that is an option. More about it later. But you can also just mix it with a cup of room temperature or warm water. The relief of the bloating and gassiness comes in about 15 to 30 minutes. Fennel seeds have many other great benefits, but today, for the simplicity, we will stop here. If you have an option to make a tea, we always recommend to do that since warm tea is generally the best thing for an upset stomach. Not all teas are however equal and some teas are better than others as we are about to discuss. A favorite tea for upset stomach is chamomile tea. Chamomile is one of the most powerful herbs in western herbal medicine for digestive system. It has numerous health benefits but again, for the sake of keeping this video short, we will highlight just a few key benefits related to digestion. Chamomile helps to settle down the stomach especially when it is a result of stress or any other emotional problems. It has very powerful effect on the nervous system and is a great tea for general relaxation and calming the mind. In digestive system it helps with bloating but also with inflammation of the mucous membranes. It is important part of medical herbal teas for conditions such as gastritis, in layman language, stomach inflammation, and peptic ulcers, also known as stomach ulcers. It can be used alone or with other herbs. If you are making the tea using tea bags, you will need at least three tea bags to make a tea with desirable potency. A single tea bag will generally not have sufficient strength and is only great for enjoying the tea flavor. 
That goes for all the other herbs that we will mention today as well. Make sure that you watch this video until the end to learn how to make the tea properly so that it has the desirable benefits. Another powerful herb for your stomach is a peppermint. Most people are familiar with peppermint or mint because of its nice and refreshing mint fragrance used in cosmetics, dental and other products. Peppermint is however also a powerful digestive aid. It helps to promote digestion by stimulating production of gastric or stomach juices and thus help your stomach digest heavier meal more efficiently. That being said, however, peppermint is not great for and should be avoided by those who experience frequent or even occasional heartburn also known as acid reflux or GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. For these individuals, Peppermint products are generally contraindicated, as they can make the heartburn a lot worse. Additionally, peppermint also possesses some antispasmodic or spasm relieving properties and helps to decrease aches related to stomach cramping. Do not, however, attempt to treat any abdominal pain with peppermint tea. That could be a very dangerous proposition. It should only be used for mild generalized occasional stomach cramping and bloating. Another herbal remedy that we will mention today is little less known but equally powerful herb called Melissa. This wonderful plant is very effective for calming the nervous system just like previously mentioned chamomile tea. The difference is that while chamomile tea has little stronger effect on digestive system and secondarily work on a nervous system, in case of Melissa it is the opposite. Melissa has much more powerful effect on the nervous system and works to a lesser degree on the digestive system. Melissa's effect on the nervous system is so powerful that you will find it in many over-the-counter herbal remedies for sleeping aid and relaxation. We left ginger root for the last since most people are familiar with its effectiveness on upset stomach. Fresh ginger is particularly great for nausea. This is especially the case when the upset stomach and nausea is a result of heavy meal or drinking and eating something cold such as ice cream, yogurt and other dairy products. According to traditional Chinese and Indian medicine called Ayurveda, ginger has warming properties and it will help to warm up the stomach which will in turn improve digestion and relieve the unpleasant symptoms of indigestion. You can prepare ginger tea by cutting a couple slices and simmering it for a few minutes. Alternately, if you are traveling, you can simply cut a piece of fresh ginger root and chew on it. At the end, you can swallow the broken down root or you can spit it out if it feels too spicy for you. If you have however heartburn, do not use ginger as it is spicy and it could make your heartburn worse. So now that we know which herbs are great for upset stomach, Let's talk a bit about how to properly use them. We can prepare a delicious tea from every single herb that we discussed today individually to help with upset stomach. For example, we would use chamomile for upset stomach related to frustration and being upset about something. We could use peppermint if our upset stomach is a result of eating something heavy that is sitting in our stomach like a rock or after overeating. We could use Melissa similarly to chamomile tea if our tummy discomfort is just manifestation of anxiety or stress, such as when going for a trip to a new place or getting ready for a big presentation. If bloating and gas is the main problem, then tea from fennel seeds is definitely the best way to go. And we will use fresh ginger primarily for the feeling of nausea. But how can we make things even better and get more powerful effect? Well, we can actually combine several of these herbal teas into one great delicious herbal tea blend. Herbal medicine practitioners use different metrics and tools to decide the right proportion of each herb in the herbal tea blend and we will not go over that today. But in general, it is safe to use one tea bag of each herb we discussed today for a cup of tea. If you want to emphasize the effect of one particular herb, for example, to help improve digestion after a heavy meal, you can add extra tea bag of a peppermint tea. This will make your tea comprising of one tea bag of chamomile tea, one tea bag of melissa, and two tea bags of peppermint. 
Regardless of what herbs you will use, you will not get the desired effect if you do not prepare the tea in a proper way. In order to get the most out of your tea, follow these simple steps. Number 1. Place desired herbal tea bags into 6 to 8 ounce cup. The size doesn't really matter as long as you can drink the entire amount at a time. Number 2. Bring water into boil. Number 3. Pour the hot water into the cup over the herbs. Number 4. Cover the cups with a lid. Number 5. Let the herbs soak in the covered cup for 15 minutes. Number 6. Lift the lid and shake the droplets of water on the lid back into the teacup. The droplets from the condensation contain lots of powerful essential oils that would normally escape in the vapor. Number 7. You can gently squeeze the tea bags to get all the great stuff into the tea, but be careful not to burn yourself. In general, we do not recommend sweetening herbal teas, especially those made for digestion. There are some exceptions to this general rule, but that discussion is beyond the scope of this video. Let the tea cool down a bit, but drink it warm to make it work even better. You can drink this kind of tea three times a day. You can drink it for therapeutic benefits as discussed in this video, but this is also a great all-around tea that you can drink after meals to help with digestion. While it is best to prepare fresh tea every time, for simplicity you can measure the appropriate amount of liquid and tea bags and make your tea for the entire day. You can bring it with you in a thermos that will keep it nice and warm for many hours. Unfortunately, it is beyond the scope of this short video to discuss the quality of herbal teas and using tea bags versus raw herbs versus tinctures. While using raw herbs from quality supplier is the best way to go, unfortunately in most cases it is not practical. Using herbal tinctures is the most convenient and also very effective, but also the costliest. That's why in this video we discuss herbal tea bags. They are cheap and available in most grocery stores in the tea section. Lastly, let's mention few quick nutrition tips without which you will be jeopardizing any form of therapy for your upset stomach. After all, food is the best medicine as our ancestors correctly recognized. Tip number one, avoid eating and drinking anything cold. Cold slows things down and promotes cramping and indigestion. Tip number two, avoid anything fried and greasy. Fried and greasy food is very hard for your stomach to digest and requires lots of digestive power. Not a great thing if your tummy is already aching. Avoid any raw vegetables and fruits. They are very hard to digest and will make you more bloated. Vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage and beans produce the most gas. Stay away from dairy products especially called milk, yogurt and ice cream. All of these will only magnify your tummy problems. Avoid sparkling waters and sodas. They will make you more bloated. So what is it that you should do? Well, drink warm herbal teas, that's to begin with, such as the ones that you learn how to prepare today. Eat small plain meals, preferably soups. The best nourishing soup is probably the so-called congee, also known as rice porridge from overcooked rice. It has long-standing tradition in Chinese medical nutrition and is one of the best things you can eat for almost any digestive issues. There are many recipes on internet, but the simpler, the better. There are many more things that we could discuss under the heading of upset stomach. But for the simplicity and length of this video, we only brought up today those that are easy to obtain and prepare. We hope that you enjoyed the video and found something useful. As always, if you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel for the next travel medicine tips and tricks as well as video from our travels.